nation's commercial capital. This is the news at 10, live from Channels Television. Reported tonight, Ijoma Oyato. Hello and welcome. Tonight, first Ebola virus victim dies in Lagos. Minister of Health Professor Onyebu Chichuku advises Nigerians to be vigilant. Nigerian military arrests man believed to be behind the explosion that hit General Muhammadu Buhari's convoy in Kaduna. Nassau governor's impeachment moves one step further as state chief judge constitutes panel. And Israel rejects Gaza ceasefire plan to allow for the Eid festival. On business news tonight, interbank lending rates climb to 11.12% after a central bank open market operation drained cash from the system. A sports news team Niger wins Africa's first gold medal at the 2014 Commonwealth Games in Glasgow. I'm Linda Kibe and from Abuja. Clash between soldiers and an Islamic sect leaves four people dead in Kaduna State, Northwest Nigeria. We begin with the sad news from Lagos that the 40-year-old Liberian diagnosed with the Ebola virus has died. The carrier reportedly arrived Lagos on Sunday, July the 20th, aboard a flight from Monrovia. The special advisor to the state governor on public health, Dr. Yewande Adishina, had broken the news of a suspected Ebola case, alerting every Lagos resident to be on the lookout. Dr. Adeshino told newsmen in Lagos that the victim was in a private hospital in Obalinde area of the state and that the clinic had been cordoned off. So far, 1,048 people have been infected in West Africa and an estimated 632 have died from Ebola viral disease in Sierra Leone, Guinea and Liberia. The symptoms of Ebola include unresolved fever, headache, diarrhea, nausea, vomiting, sore throat, and joint pains. Late presentation includes bleeding from the orifices like the nose, mouth, and ears. In the meantime, the Minister of Health, Professor Onyebu Chichuko, has confirmed the incident. He told journalists in Abuja that laboratory tests did confirm the suspected case in Lagos, and he said the Liberian was traveling to Calabar for an ECOWAS meeting. The patient was subjected to thorough medical evaluation where laboratory investigations were also carried out. His blood sample was taken to the advanced laboratory at the Lagos University Teaching Hospital, Loop, which confirmed the diagnosis of Ebola virus disease. This result has since been corroborated by other laboratories outside Nigeria. Despite the urgent specialized barrier nursing care provided for the patient in a Lagos hospital and as well as intensive support therapy, the patient unfortunately passed away in the early hours of today. The following specific measures have so far been taken. All the passengers that the patient came in contact with have been traced and are now being investigated. In line with the World Health Organization International Health Regulations and in keeping with international best practice, all ports of entry to Nigeria, including airports, seaports, and land borders, have been placed on red alert. 
The Minister of Health, Professor Onyebuchi Chiku, there confirming the suspected case of the Ebola virus in Lagos. Now from health, we move on to politics, where a seven-man pro panel has been inaugurated by the chief judge of Nasarawa State, Justice Suleiman Diko, to investigate Governor Tanko Al-Makura in compliance with the directive issued by the State House of Assembly. While inaugurating the panel, Justice Diko explained that he was merely complying with Section 188 of the 1999 Constitution of the Federal Republic of Nigeria as amended. The chairman of the probe panel, Mr. Yusuf Usman, gave the assurance that his committee will do justice to all and be guided by the spirit and letters of the Constitution. The lawmakers accused Governor Al Makura of gross misconduct and misappropriation of public funds. It was a move that was greeted with huge public outcry. As soon as the 20 lawmakers who signed the impeachment notice on Governor Al-Makura published it in the media, several protests were staged by different groups across the state. About three people were said to have lost their lives in the protest, and in the course of the last weekend, some of the lawmakers met in Abuja, and they came out to say they are still pursuing the impeachment of the governor. Honorable members, did we serve the governor of Nassau State with the impeachment notice yeah. just yeah. for arrangement to withdraw it? No. no. The members say no. No, 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 no surrender. <clears throat> Several consultations were said to have been made and traditional rulers in the state were said to have intervened after several days since the mantle started. Governor Amakura breaks the silence. We will ensure that we execute or exhaust all democratic procedures and all legal procedures as enshrined in our constitution to see to it that we protect and guard jealously this mandate. In what looks like keeping to their promise, the impeachment process appears to have moved a step further. The chief judge of Nasara State Justice Sulaiman Diko has inaugurated a seven-man pro panel led by Mr. Yusuf Usman in compliance with a directive issued by the State House of Assembly to prove Governor Tanko al -Makura. The State House of Assembly has done its work. They've given the governor notice. They've gone. They've written me to consider the panel. And this is exactly what I've just done now. Father, you've heard about the provisions of the Constitution. You follow the provisions of the Constitution, Section 188, to the latter. So it is you now that you carry your duty by investigating the allegations against the government. The chairman of the pro panel assures that his committee will do justice to all and be guided by the spirit and letters of the 1999 Constitution. We will, in the course of our deliberation, make sure that we are guided strictly by our conscience, by the rule of law, and most importantly, we will act in line with the spirit and the letters of the 1999 Constitution, the instrument under which the committee was set up. We will be fair to all. As you heard the CJ said, we are not members of any political party. The panel set up is perhaps one of the last steps in the impeachment process. The outcome of their investigation will perhaps determine the fate of Mr. Amakura as a governor of Nazarao State. Shehu Okimbaloye for Channels Television News. Well, staying with politics and in the build-up to the 2015 general elections, the All Progressive Congress, Ogun State Chapter, has promised all aspirants vying for elected positions in the state a level playing field. This was one of the resolutions reached by the party members at a town hall meeting held at the Central Senatorial District in Abeokuta, the state capital. At the gathering, the state chairman, Alhaji Raki Badeniji, gave the assurance that the forthcoming primaries will be transparent and credible. Meanwhile, the People's Democratic Party in the Oshun State Chapter says the party is confident of victory in the August the 9th governorship polls. 
Speaking to party supporters in the Ilesha, that's the venue of the rally, the party's flag bearer, Senator Iola Umishuri, said the PDP is on what he described as a rescue mission that will enhance the welfare of the people of the state when the party finally wins. As the August 9th governorship elections in Oshun State draws near, all political parties have continued to sell their manifesto to the people of Oshun State. The Oshun State People's Democratic Party is not left out, as the party's flag bearer, Senator Yolao Mishori, and other members traversed several communities, towns and local government to win voters. This time, their campaign train moved to Elysia East and West local government area, where a large crowd of supporters gathered at the Palace Square to show their solidarity to the party. It's obvious you can see what's happening here. It has been good reception across everywhere. We have blessings everywhere. And it shows that Osho people are ready for a change because they are hungry and angry. They felt deceived and cheated by the hypocritical government of APC now. Senator Omishari assured the people that he is on this race to rescue the people of the state. Education is the business of Eurobars. And there are issues. This is body on education foundation, schools going back to regular ways, uniforms, going to be, the uniforms be regularized, appointments come, be redrafted, the schools will be built with teachers and students. Now in spite of the collapsed podium, which is the reason why some people are on the floor, some party members are optimistic that the PDP will win the governorship election. By the grace of God, the PDP will win the election. Already, the SABC, they are very jittery. They are calling for postponement of election. So, but I can assure you that we rely on the grace of God and on the grace of the people. We will win the election all over Oshun State. And the people of Oshun State now have said, enough is enough. They are going back to the mainstream politics, which is the PDP. Only the PDP has the capacity of satisfying the yearning and aspirations of Oshun people and indeed the Nigerian people. We have done it in other places and we will do it in Oshun State. I think we have communicated with the people of Oshun State and I think they are desirous of a change and that's why I believe that Tomi Shode will be successful come 9th August. <laughs> Earlier on, Senator Yola Omishore and other party members paid a visit to Owa Obokun of Ijesha land, His Royal Majesty Gabriel Adekunle Aromolaron for his royal blessings. Now in part two, after the break, President Goodluck Jonathan visits Lagos. That's in a moment. Do join us again. <laughs>